It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. And George Foreman boldly asked the world mm-hmm. to cook our steaks on an electric <laughs> panini press. <laughs> which, objectively, horrible idea. Yeah. But yeah. we said yes anyway. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. now I want you to bring that same go with the flow, even if it sounds stupid attitude to this segment. Care or don't care. Ooh, does it come Whoa. with a drip pan? <laughs> it doesn't. But I might read you a questionable, borderline idiotic headline and ask you to just go with it. Oh. Let's get right into your first headline. Normally, they give you hep C, oh. but this time, free food for a year? What? what? Care or don't care? I care. What are you talking care. about? Hepatitis C? Care. What? Care. A restaurant has announced a romantic new venture for Valentine's oh, Day no. where five lucky couples will have the chance to win free meals for a year. Okay. But there's two catches to it. One, you have to get engaged at their restaurant. Okay. And two, cute. it has to be at a Cracker Barrel. What? Wait, where does it have C come in? Anybody? Cracker Barrel. It's just Cracker oh. Barrel. If you, don't, if you don't know Cracker Barrel. They're not on the top of the health uh, screen. <laughs> not usually. They're a big chain restaurant. They're famous for their southern style buffet. Right. Yes. Yeah. And, then, and they're all white food. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's like just this bland. doesn't usually scream romance, but yeah. maybe that's part of what they're trying to accomplish Do people here. who love Cracker Barrel love it that much? That I'm surprised it just doesn't happen yeah. naturally. Yeah, there. yeah, seriously. So, any interested couples need to post a video of their Cracker Barrel proposal to Instagram between February 10th and 16th. That's according to the restaurant website. Okay. You'll also have to include a caption that explains why you decided to propose at Cracker Barrel. Yeah. Ooh. And I'm guessing you can't just write because I wanted the bottomless country fried chicken. Uh-huh. Yeah. Then you need to hashtag the post with hashtag I said yes at Cracker Barrel. Ah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Which, yeah. Which is weird. I've been posting that for years, but it has nothing to do with proposals. Yeah. <laughs> it might have to do with something that happens in the employee bathroom there, though. Oh. But if you're not quite ready to pop the question to your significant other yet, Cracker Barrel is also advertising an offer for a free dessert if you purchase two entrees in the days around Valentine's. Oh, okay. that's a much easier task. Yeah. I thought it was going to be like they had to give a promise ring or something no. at that level. Just be bold enough to buy two whole dinners. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Let's see if you guys care about this one. Turns out one man can teach old dogs Guinness record-breaking new tricks. Ooh, give me a dog care, story. Don't care. Care. I don't care. I care. Care. There's a German dog trainer who's had a lifelong dream to put his name in the Guinness Book of World Records. Oh, wow. good for him. His name is Wolfgang Lauenberger. Of course his name is Wolfgang, oh. and he's a dog oh. trainer. It's just all so perfect. Yep. Wolfgang Lauenberger. Now, yeah. he's already <laughs> set multiple records, including most skips by a dog on their hind legs in 30 seconds. Oh. Oh, wow. And Cute. most rollovers by a dog Aww. in one minute. Do you That's think the a dogs? Dizzy dog. yeah. Do you think the dogs are pissed? Like, why does he get the credit? I'm yeah. the one who did the work. Well, the other day he stunned the world by setting a new mark for most dogs in a conga line at 14. Oh, no! I want to be in the middle. Of course, they did it to the song Shake Sonora. Oh. And there's a photo of them, oh, all 14 so dogs cute. lined up holding each other's hips. <laughs> Can we put this on our Insta stories it. or something? People have to see oh this picture. Yeah, the picture is pretty amazing. It's we can put so that up at Brooke They're and Jeffrey. They're all different types of dogs. Now, it took Wolfgang 16 weeks of him oh, showing man. videos of the previous record to his dogs, trying to show them what they needed <laughs> to do. That's how they learned? I guess that's Wait, part of it. The dogs also looked it up on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Funny thing is, Wolfgang actually beat out his own daughter, oh. who appeared on the show Britain's Got Talent and held the previous conga record with nine dogs. Oh, See, that's kind of okay. messed up. Yeah, you know, I'm a dad home. takes your world record away. I'm yeah. also a parent that doesn't think you should let your kids win. <laughs> you know? If you want to know, the record-breaking dogs were named Kathy, Charlie, Elvis, Emma, <laughs> Philu, Finn, Jennifer, <laughs> Katie, Maya, Simon, Speck, Susie, and Ulf. Oh, I love all of them. Those are some middle-aged mom names. Yeah. <laughs> like, my God. I guess they're doing the conga line, so it checks yeah, out. Yeah, totally. Nope. In the end, they broke the record, and Wolfgang said the dogs were happy about setting the new world's record. I bet Kathy and Jennifer went for a glass of Chardonnay yeah. afterwards. <laughs> they're also happy drinking out of a toilet bowl, so oh, really kind yeah, of tough okay. to gauge what their actual emotions on it were. Yeah, but be real. They don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, good for them. Like, yeah. They're all smiling, though. Let's yeah. go to your next headline. Maybe the weirdest story out of Florida that you're going to hear what? all year. 
care. Wow, Kid, that's I don't a care. You're calling it? I, yeah, I'll care. I that's not possible. Care. I care. If you've listened to our show before, then you're probably familiar with the Villages Retirement Community mm-hmm. in Florida. Is that the nude one? It's, no, that's no. the one that's like the largest retirement community. It's yeah. wild. It's got filled it. with condos and townhouses. They got golf courses, pools, the whole deal. And there's always something crazy going on with the retirees who live there. And the latest story might be the most disturbing one yet. Hopefully your Nana doesn't live there because apparently the seniors in the village are now tying loofahs to the top of their cars and Uh golf carts to let people know that they're swingers. Oh! Oh. Hey! (laughs) The pineapple is out and the loofah is in? (laughs) Bathtub loofahs are in. This is a real news story. Different colors are supposed to mean different things. Oh, God. For example, a purple loofah on your roof rack means you like to watch. Wow. I don't need yeah, there's to a whole know there's a whole like oh, spreadsheet of no. what the different colors mean. My and dad's older brother lives there. Oh, look out! If he has a loofah on the top of his <laughs> Buick. A teal one means that you like to swing both ways. Oh, okay. Okay. I can't even say what the pink one means. Okay. Oh, but you will have to take your teeth out for it. I'll just oh, say that. Oh. So. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so as this rumor gained steam, someone who claimed to work at the villages weighed in, saying the loofahs don't necessarily mean that they're swingers. It's just to help them find their cars in the parking lots. <laughs> oh, because it's golf carts everywhere? Is that why? It's Well, whatever it is, they yeah. say it's just to help them uh-huh. notice which one is their car. But I think we all know what's really yeah, going on here. I take the innocent angle. I yeah. like that one better. I think it's Grandma's cover story. And yeah. She's yeah. actually down to clown. <laughs> So she shows up with a broken hip to Thanksgiving this year. Don't oh, ask why. Oh, it's the yellow loop. Yeah, <laughs> finally. It's a good story. Jeff's joke of the day, care, don't care. Care. What do you call a giant pile of cats? What? A mountain. Oh, so <laughs> Thank God that train wreck's over, but if you want to hear it, find it on our socials at Brooke and Jeffrey. Woo!